Hi you guys, welcome back to Kara's Teaching Tips. Today's tip is for my four and five year olds. I really don't like to put an age on things you can do with your children because I have seen so many different types of learners. I've seen three year olds reading. I've seen five year olds learning how to read. I see a two year old still learning their colors. I see a five year old still learning their colors. It just depends on where your child's at and meeting them in the middle. Our goal as educators and parents is to help them learn, not punish them for not learning as fast as our friend's daughter, for not making them feel bad about themselves because they're not as quick as you know other kids at learning things. It's meeting them where they're developmentally at and also finding ways to help them grow. Just wanna let you guys know that I'm saying four and five year olds because most four and five year olds I have seen will do this activity. Not all of them, but most of them. So. Please don't be too hard on yourself with my tips with age ranging and me age ranging it. So let's just get that out there so we know and move forward here. So this puzzle is $15.10 on Amazon. Of course it's on sale now that I've already bought it. So go get it. There's a lot of different things you guys can do with it. I like to show you guys puzzles that you can do with several different age groups. So two, three, four, five. This puzzle is that for you guys. So let me show you what's inside before I talk about my tips. It's really cool because inside you have a spinner. So that's really fun for the kids to get them spinning and then matching the number they see on their act, their a log here, their learning branch log. I think it's a branch or a log. I'm going to go with learning branch. So their learning branch, they can match the owls onto the number that they spin. That's so fun for the kids. These are the owls, it's different colors, they're little. This is also super cute to display, I might do that too. Briggs, my son, he's gonna have so much fun with this. I'm gonna pull it out when he's two, three, and four. But I wanted to focus today on four and five year olds tips because I have done a lot of two and three year olds. So look at these activity cards. You can match the owls on here once you spin it. You can even count one, two, three with patterns, with number sequencing, it's really, the list goes on with this puzzle, but what I would start with my four and five year olds. They should already know how to sort. And if they don't, you would start there. But we're talking now counting one to one correspondence. That is pointer finger out pointing one, two, three, four, five. A lot of the times kids go one, two, three, four, five, and it's out of order. Um, and you notice how I'm showing you the op the right way, right? We always count left to right. You need to be modeling it. So it's kind of confusing because we naturally always go to our left. So you need to change your way of teaching to the right so they see it left to right. That's a super important little skill that will help benefit them. Always try to remember that. Um, so here we would want to put our owls on here and count one to one. So model first, right? So you put them on here and then model one, two, three. Can you count for me? They got it, they're ready to move on. Now you can count the owls up and have them go up. You can teach vertical versus horizontal with this, simple. You could teach um, greater than, less than with this. Math skills, so mom's gonna show you three plus three, watch mom. I have three red, one, two, three, modeling pointer finger, one, two, three, and I have three blues. One, two, three. Let's count them together. That's adding. That means I'm I'm putting them together. Watch mom. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you need to show them that. So go across and then say one, two, three, four, five, six. Three plus three equals six. Wow, do you think you can try that? Okay, I want you to do two. Keep the number smaller in the beginning, two plus two. So you get to pick whatever colors you want, your favorite colors. Pick two of your favorite colors. What colors do you wanna choose? You choose green and blue. Okay, green and blue, good. Grab them. Two, put two blue up, show me. Use your pointer finger, count one, two. Count the other ones, one, two. So really, this can, the list goes on. Like I said, you have two-year-olds, you can still get this and start using it in different um, ways with sorting and associating colors. Grab the yellow, go match it to something. Oh, look, a bus. My bus is yellow. Let's check to make sure. And running over there and checking it and then high-fiving. Yeah, good job. So the list goes on. Grab it, $15, you guys. That is an awesome deal. Um, I'm super excited about this one because I can't wait to do it with my son. I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you have any questions, I'm always available. Just go ahead and message me and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.